Hey, good day. It's Mike at uh, Flex Radio, VA3MW, and I wanted to go over SmartLink. SmartLink being our tool for connecting to your radio over the Internet and um, allowing you to use it remotely. Um, we find it works really well. We've got a lot of customers using it. We've got a lot of remote sta operators using it for as their remote station, their full-time remote station. But in order for SmartLink to work, um, you do have to have a fairly basic Internet setup. And while this might be foreign to you, once you get it working and set up, it will just continue to function. And if you're unsure what your network should look like, and that's how you get your internet in your house, you do need some wired internet. Uh, and I'm going to discuss the the way it works easily all the time. Uh, there are a hundred different ways to do this. Uh, I'm trying to keep this incredibly simple. And if you're unsure and you're just getting started, if your network's correctly um, working correctly, please go to Google and search for Flex Radio Network Setup. And you're going to get a help desk ticket that looks like this. Uh, how to connect your Flex 6000 to a LAN. LAN being local area network and LAN being, you know, how you uh, get your Netflix and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, as you know, all of our 6000 series radios and the Maestro are all LAN aware. And I'm going to use the word LAN and Wi-Fi and network synonymously through this discussion, but they all do mean the same thing. When you open that document, you're going to see this beautiful document that Tim wrote. Uh, it's in a lot of detail. It's not overwhelming, but you can see that um, in a normal world, uh, this is probably what your house looks like. You probably have a modem. You've got a port on it called WAN. That stands for Wide Area Network, and that's where the internet comes from. That's the cloud. That's the part we can't control. The LAN being local area network where you and I do all our work. And then we have an Ethernet cable plugged into a PC. This is your basic internet for your home. So let's introduce a radio to that. This is how we would like to see your, your internet set up at home for a 6000 series radio. Now while this is a Flux 6700, it works for the 63, the 65, the 64 the 66 and the 67, and even the M models. And we would like to see the M models hooked up like this so they can get their software updates. We'd have our modem. We've got Smart SDR running on a computer for a non-M model. We've got a switch, which is like a octopus for house wiring, and this is all plugged in. If you had a Maestro, and it's not on this diagram, if you had it cabled, and uh, if you're running nets and things, I highly recommend you run it cabled because Wi-Fi is such a party line, and it will impact your operations at times when you don't expect it. You would run a cable from the LAN port on your Maestro over to the switch. Um, in this case, you know, we can see that Smart SDR is running wireless. This could also be a Maestro. Uh, it, it works uh, if you have a dual band router and that means if you look at it it probably has something that says you know you know Fred's router and Fred's router G the G is usually the 5 gig one 5 gig is preferred because it can handle the bandwidth a little better it's it has less interference to deal with and it is shorter range though so it's a bit of a trade off so these are the things we'd really love you uh to look for uh, in a field day setting, or if you just want to test things, sometimes we will say, look, can you go test this just by plugging the, the radio uh, right into the computer? If you take out your LAN cable, traditionally they're blue, and you plug it in the network card on the, um, on the radio, and then you plug it right into a network card on your laptop or your PC and, and, uh, and, uh, turn and start Smart SDR, it will actually see the radio and work. This will all work if you're, you know, I call you guys Joe user, you know, you just want it to work, you haven't modified your network, you don't know what DHCP is or, or PMP and all these weird terms. So if you're just a regular guy, this, this is a basic test setup. In fact, this is how we run all our shows. We have, uh, we just take a, a Maestro or a PC and we plug it right into, a, into one of our radios. So this document's certainly worth looking at. Uh, again, here is... Um, Here's our basic setup. The internet comes into the modem, and uh, away you go. You plug everything into a switch. Sometimes the switch is built into the modem, and sometimes there's Wi-Fi on this switch. I know some of you guys are using hubs and smart hubs and, and hotspots and stuff. This is beyond the scope of that discussion, and if you're using that, I'm going to say it's going to be a little more difficult.
So you want to be uh, aware of that, and, uh, and there's some great help in the community. We can help you out a little bit. We can't make changes to your network uh, or anything like that because it's uh, out of our control. And God forbid anything would happen and you'd start blaming us and your lawyer would call us and it just wouldn't go well. So that's why we do, uh, that's why we do that. So you've got uh, Smart Link or uh, Smart SDR here. Uh, here, here they all are. I'm going to start Smart SDR. This happens to be an alpha version that's under some test. And... Uh, that um, that popped up way over here, so we'll bring it here. Um, this is uh, at the top of Smart SDR. Every time you start it, you're going to see that we have Smart SDR login. If you're not doing anything with Smart Link, you can ignore this. You can just it's not an issue. We don't need it, and you're just going to use your radio normally. Uh, you can click here and uh, and connect. In my case, my Maestro is connected. That's why it's showing disconnect user. I wanted to show you a couple of things too. If you uh, hover over um, the, the radio, it pops up with this little black box and then after five or ten seconds it disappears. If I right click on that, you'll see it'll copy radio info to clipboard. Uh, so for support, um, it sucks it all in and then you can paste that into a support um, uh, email or something when, they, when we want to know a little bit about your network. So I'm going to disconnect myself and uh, this is normally what you'll see. You can collect here, and, and we'll start Smart SDR like normal. But that's not what we're talking about today. So we're going to talk about Smart SDR and Smart Link. So now you're ready to get set up. We really want to get going on uh, and configuring my radio so that I can use it while I'm out at uh, Starbucks or something, or someplace with good internet, good Wi-Fi, and it's not bandwidth, it's latency. Is it? Does my data get there quickly? Not does it get there, all of it get there in a hurry, but I want it to be like a phone call. I don't want it to start and stop. So um, latency is key and your upload bandwidth is key. Uh, more of that can be discussed on the community if you poke around the community. Lots of discussion on bandwidth and Wi-Fi performance. So let's go into Smart SDR. We're going to go into Login. Uh, that brought up uh, this screen. Uh, I don't, uh, we're going to create a new user, and I prefer to use um, emails. Uh, just me, you can use uh, Facebook logins. Uh, I don't share my Facebook logins with, with these apps, although for some people it uh, makes it a lot easier. And uh, this is a uh, probably a Gmail type sign in, but uh, let's create a, um, uh, uh, let's do this one. Net, actually, we're going to hit sign up. And I'm going to create a password of, oh, geez, the one two three four five six seven eight isn't going to work. So I'm going to have to do something a little more creative. And I'm going to hit sign up. All right. So we've uh, created it. Uh, I used a password, which I wrote down. And we're going to click back in here, and I'm going to uh, put in my call sign. and my first name and the last initial and hit save. So now I'm actually logged into Smart SDR and I can see my radio, I'm all local. Um, I'm, I still wanna, now we wanna go down to Smart Link Setup. So we're gonna go into Smart Link Setup. I've got my login done. I can see my radio, but we've got this not configured for Smart Link. So we need to register. And uh, if I push that, it's going to wait and nothing's done until we get to this message that says we need to hit the CW key, hit the mic, hit the, um, you know, something on the accessory key or RCA push to talk. So that's going to, uh, that's going to time out. We're not going to get very far. So I actually have to do that. Um, uh, and I'm not logged into a radio at the moment or sitting beside my radio. So uh, I can do it remotely by hitting a special switch but uh, that I have programmed because I operate a lot uh, remotely. So once you once you have this again, I'm going to hit register. It's connecting, calling the servers, waiting. It's going to log in. It's not registered. Okay, now I'm going to hit the push to talk button and we're good to go. So my radio has been registered to my email address. And I can have multiple radios registered to 
my email address or my smart link login. So what about my network? So I highly recommend that you um, not get into advanced network setting if uh, we want to make sure that uh, this just works. Now Flex Radio has ensured that uh, we use a, a protocol called Universal Plug and uh, Play. Uh, those in the know call it Universal Plug and Pray. And if you're really security paranoid, you've probably gotten into your router and turned that off. And then if that's the case, you'll have to do a manual port forward. But for most of you, if you're at this level, you're not really sure what you're doing, you've probably got it turned on on your router. Your router is the gateway to your internet. That's where your modem is. And mine's set to automatic. And it's going to take and send a command to my router and do this forward it's going to do all this stuff. You don't really care what it is, but it's going to do all this stuff. And then uh, to make sure that works, we can hit test, and that button will come back green. And that means that these two ports, they're special ports, TCP and UDP ports, are good to go. Manual port forwarding, we'll just have a look at it, and I'll touch on it barely briefly. Um, it's a little bit, um, uh, not more complicated, but... Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, it's going to tell you what you want. Okay, so manual port forward, we clicked on manual, we're going to click on it twice. Um, and it's going to say, log into your router and manually make these changes. And it's going to say, take this port number and take this port number in these formats and forward them to this IP address. There are web pages on the internet on how to do manual port forwarding to uh, different items um, and you can go look up your router whether it's Linksys, D-Link, uh, etc. and they'll talk to you about how to do manual port forwarding. If you're going to do manual port forwarding you also need to go figure out how to turn off UNPMP that's universal plug and play. So I'm gonna go back to automatic because I know mine works. I hit the test button and uh, the light will go green and it's just confirmed that we're good to go. Okay, so we're going to save all that. Now I'm going to log out of here, and I am going to log back in on a different account. And uh, let me just pause this for a second. Okay, so I used another email address and another uh, password uh, to use our show account. So I've, lo I've gone in and I've changed that and logged in, and I'm going to hit uh, save. So we're logged into the Flex Radio system, and as I said, you can have one email address or user ID and password connected to uh, multiple radios. So this is what we do at, at shows, and you can see that we have um, uh, my remote station at, uh, at, actually my home station, I'm sitting at the remote station as I do this, uh, showing my 6600, um, actually that's all local, I lied. Uh, Tim's uh, station and I can uh, I'm going to disconnect Tim hopefully he won't mind but he did say I could show so we're going to blow him away and uh, now we're going to connect to Tim and he's I'm in Canada he's down in North Carolina and uh, we'll try this again and we'll drag it back over and I hope uh, he wasn't doing a test, uh, but you know, there's me connected to Tim's radio in uh, Holla, you know, down in, in North Carolina. We're connected by SmartLink. We want to have that on uh, to sort of hear the audio. We want to have this clicked on. Uh, this is your volume, and uh, you. The other key thing too is you want your sound in your computer to be your default sound devices. So you'll have to go into Windows settings um, and uh, make sure that your normal playback device, Tim's probably just uh, turned on a radio for me or an antenna, your default playback of device is set to your speakers or your headphones or whatever you want to use. The same thing for your recording device, which being you're going to record from your microphone. Smart SDR uses the default devices to playback audio and record audio or transmit audio. So that's how uh, um, that's how we get the audio. We don't specify where. We assume it's going to be the default device. It's not assume. It actually has to be. When we're done with that, we're just going to disconnect. 
and uh, or uh, file exit and just leave and put Tim's system back to normal. And that's it. That's uh, Smart Link in a nutshell. I hope that gives you some uh, ideas. I didn't want this to be a 15-minute video, but it turned out uh, it turned out that way. And if uh, you have any um, any problems, you can uh, certainly reach out to us. You can. Um, I'm, you. I know what happened there. That's just a network issue in my own house. The uh, and, and reach out to us, and we'll be glad to help you out. But uh, that's the basic setup for Smart Link and. Uh, also look into the community if your network's a little different and you're uh, you're running on a hotspot and stuff. Uh, the community is certainly the place to go because there'll be other people that uh, have had uh, you maybe your setup and can sort of help guide you away, uh, guide you in the right direction rather to get going. So thanks. Uh, pleasure talking to you. This is Mike, VA3MW, and I hope that helped a bit. Take care.